Devontae comes from a uh, really interesting story. You know, uh, ESPN came in, uh, ESPN the magazine came in and did a, you know, extensive, um, exclusive story about his, his life. Everybody knows about his mother and what he went through. What they don't know is that his father died uh, in November of 2014. Um, he, his house, the house that he was born in, right, not born in, but raised in, uh, burned down shortly thereafter. And then that spring, his mother was put in federal prison. So you think any of those things would knock you down. He had all three to contend with. Um, and so his, his um, sophomore year at uh, East Mississippi Junior College was a complete wash. And uh, I found out about him in May. Um, the last day you could sign a binding letter of intent is May 20th. I had him on campus May 20th. And I said, Let's, listen, Devontae, we're not recruiting you. We want to sign you. You either sign this now or we're going to move on. Um, and he said, uh, I need to call my aunt. I said, uh, call her and then let's talk. He and I went to that old locker room over there and we just sat down and had a man-to-man -man talk. And I, I saw a, a kid that needed help. You know, whereas some people say, you know, uh, why are we taking this kid or that kid? Um, look at what he's doing now. That's why. You know, every, every kid deserves somebody to uh, help him. Uh, but Devontae was looking for trust. You know, he's one of those kids that because he's had so much negative in his life, he needed somebody uh, that believed in him. And I think uh, the person that really deserves a lot of credit for that is uh, Kellen. You know, Kellen believed in Devontae maybe when Devontae didn't believe in himself, uh, especially in the classroom and off the court. That, that's where Kellen did such a great job is putting his arm around him, not being his coach, but being his big brother, you know. I was more of a father figure, I guess, in my own way, but uh, uh, the, the person that I think deserves the most credit for Devontae is um, uh, Kellen, because he went over and beyond. You know, he had the uh, legal problems that followed him here. We had to get that straight with the um, uh, professionals here in Houston. And, um, and then, you know, last year, you know, he got through the year. Didn't have a great year because of all the, the things swirling around in his life, but look at him this year. He's become a leader. He's become an unbelievable teammate. Um, uh, he, he's become one of my favorite kids to coach, and I've had a lot of them over the years. But I'll, I'll, I'll look back at Devontae Pollard and um, see a young man that came a long way. And um, he's somebody who's going to be successful in life, too. I think this experience has really has propelled him, and I, I'm, I'm looking for great things from Devontae. He's really talented. I always describe him as a Lamar Odom type player. Uh, he could use either hand, he could shoot it from the mid range area. Um, the most athletic guy on our team jumps pretty high, uh, and he's our, he's one of our leaders of the three. So he's real passionate about the game. He love he loves it. He shows it a lot in the car too, like especially the game in Memphis where he had 34. If it wasn't for him, we probably lost the game. But he brought so much, and the game before that, he even produced the same amount of points and uh, effort. So he we we just on his shoulders right now, and it's a good thing. People say he's a quiet person, but he's really funny, you know, once you get to know him, he opens up a lot. Uh, he talks a lot more than people think, but, you know, he, he's a good dude. He's a good dude.